Okay, welcome back to the channel guys. Today, as you saw in the intro, we have a huge, amazing, beautiful and very decayed farmhouse to show you. I'm with Leslie, he is already inside of the house showing you and filming. But before I go into the house, I want to show you this courtyard. It's a really old style courtyard. Back in the days, Portuguese houses and farmhouses had always this courtyard. It's like a little patio that goes, makes a center. Oh, on the house, this is all the house, all around it. And up there was 1930, 31? Ni no, 1921. I don't know if it's a three or if it's a, a two. I will see from up there. But take a look at what this house has. Not only uh, wine cellars and a lot of furniture, but this is strongly decayed. You're gonna see throughout the house every room has decayed, the floor is decaying, so we have to be really, really, really careful on this house. There's even just a bench chilling in there. Yes, it's been abandoned for quite some time, not that long. You may think because of the state of decay that this house is in, it's abandoned for 30, 40 years. No, it's abandoned since 2008 but this house is on this state because like a storm came through this area and this house is fully made of wood only the outside walls are made of concrete so the storm hit the house that's why it's so so decayed I'm gonna take you on a tour throughout this house because I want to show you every little detail and the beautiful furniture that this house still has and at the end, I'm going to I'm going to show you the chapel, which is beautiful because it's really hard to get there. Everything is falling. So that's going to be the last thing. But it's beautiful. I promise you stick around. The weather today in Portugal is eh, it's good. It's sunny. The sometimes the sun goes in, comes and goes, but it's good. Okay, but let's start on this part. This is a really, really old stove. I don't even know the brand. Wow, it's full of spider webs. Okay. This part just fascinates me. I am not telling you the story. But these people made a lot of Porto wine. Oh, you see it? Oh, I should put my gloves on. But you see it? Porto wine. I wish I could send you the smell inside of this room. It smells really like Porto wine. Let me, let me check. This has some... Wow. Okay. Okay, this is a different type of wine. I don't know if you know what green wine is. Oh, branco, uh, it's white. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They produce a lot of different wines. I don't know. Oh, oh. This is the bottle. I wish I could s send you this smell of what's inside of here. It's literally port wine and it's strong. This port wine is really, really strong and it still is good. It has the smell of the wine. It's, it's amazing. Just gonna place it back because it was here. Oh, and I think these bottles are all filled. Yes, I'm not gonna touch anything more because I don't have my gloves, but yeah, wow, these people produce a lot of wine. This is not the only wine cellar that this house has, because there's a lot of parts of the house that was barns for animals, but they turn it into wine, don't know why, oh my god, the smell is so good, okay, <laughs> I wish I could send you this smell. But yeah, 
let's go upstairs as you can see we have to be really careful upstairs everything is falling full of water and oh yeah look at this side so yeah let's go upstairs Today I bring you a devastating story of a beautiful decayed house. This destroyed and abandoned farmhouse started to be built in the end of the 1800s by the Gaspar family. Walking inside, the unstable feeling is present but leaves us looking at the amazing furniture that was left behind. Precious, delicate and simple furniture can be found in the old part of the house. Along with heavily destroyed and decayed rooms. All this destruction is due to a storm that hit this town in June 2008, destroying the farmhouse. They start to build this farmhouse as an animal farm, but throughout the years they transformed it into a Porto wine farmhouse. The richness was present when we saw a room that was built just to put plants and to grow their own flowers. An amazing room with beautiful windows with stained glass. With the baby boom in the 1900s, this family kept growing more and more, leaving the old part of the house without space for more people. Being a traditional Portuguese family, religion was always present, and we can see throughout the house multiple religious symbols and artifacts. Debaixo das minhas telhas goza um pouco a paz dos céus, mas a morada perfeita, essa, só encontra em Deus. Incredible furniture and decoration tells us more about the living of the people. And after the war, this family was getting so big that they had to amplify the house, building another section on the left side. With the years passing, the family start moving away looking for other opportunities in other cities. And in the 1990s, the father and mother of Miranda died, leaving her alone in this big farmhouse. Because of the state of the house and the storm, Miranda moved away to another place and we still don't know if she is still alive or not. Let's take a tour inside and show you everything on this amazing farmhouse. This house looks like it's very destroyed, and it is, but it still has all the furniture. Yes, we have to be really careful. Like for example, that room it already fell down. Let's go through the kitchen. Oh my god. Okay, move it slowly. 
and we come in to the kitchen this is a little pantry everything is so decayed so destroyed there's the way to the wine cellar that I showed you Portuguese people always find some corners in the wall to put cabinets <laughs> oh this is a mini kitchen this is like a side kitchen in Portugal there's uh, houses my grandmother also has it like she has the main kitchen and a side kitchen because if for example if you want to fry potatoes or to to cook fish like you have a side kitchen so the, the smell doesn't stay in the house and I think this is like a little when I, one kitchen like that a lot of baking stuff baking equipment this this stove caught my attention stove fire is like a fireplace really beautiful I don't see a name anywhere it's really beautiful oh clock the time stopped at 11 and 17 minutes 17? 16, 17, 18 this is another part of the kitchen yes the stove, the chimney, this they cook like the bread and they made all the food in here and they close this thing and this is the kitchen where they eat wow calendar 2009 this house has been abandoned since 2008 2009 it doesn't look like it because of the destruction is literally falling down if I can show you in every little corner but yeah it's abandoned 11 years there's no way that I'm gonna show you that part first I have to go around it but just take a look at this balcony launch area it's all around it goes all around the house it's really beautiful and it's really really decay the storm hit this house pretty hard you can see like literally the floor is literally caving in a weird a weird room I don't know what this is yeah, me and Leslie were discussing, like, I don't know what this is. He has a little door. And it's this, it looks like a bird cage. But also, it doesn't. It looks, this looks more like a bird cage because it's closed and he has this thing, but I think it's to put a candle or something inside to just make light. Not not sure but yeah as you can see benches and chairs all around this launch area this is a really really famous religious place Bon Jesus Braga it has like hundreds and hundreds of stairs I've done it on my way down not up <laughs> but it's crazy this place is literally crazy and he has like let me see if I can show you that see if I can show you that it has like a cave back there a garden this place is huge this is one of the religious places in Portugal of course Fatima it's the main but this is second or third place really cool Here in the corner we we saw some papers that we could recover some information I'm not gonna show you because it's like literally personal information but yes we discovered the name of the woman and it's Miranda Gaspar he has my last name <laughs> I think she was one of the daughters of the owners of this farmhouse oh my god I love this tint of 
glass. I love it. And it's like it's not even glass. It has. Let me focus first. It has this little relief. I don't know if it's how it's called, but it's not like glass, you know. It's really cool. Keep going. Oh, I love this type of portraits. Sorry, I'm always saying portraits. It's frames, paintings. This is dead nature. Uh, I think that's how you call it, dead nature. I love this. I studied this in school because of photography and wow. Also very religious. This is a scent. São Bento de Porta Aberta. Wait, wait, wait. I think I skipped a room. <laughs> wait. I was like, I was just watching the house and I think I skipped the room. Yeah. I skipped the room, sorry. You got a beautiful light. Yes, I got a beautiful light. And look at the furniture inside. I'm not gonna go in because as you can see, the floor is like caving in. But take a look at the vanity. The, this is the part that I think God, I have zoomed. Look. And I love those portraits too. Frames. Oh my god, I'm always mistaking myself. You can see more religious artifacts right there. And the design on that chair. Wow. Oh, it's the same design as the bed. Wow. More frames all around. A lot of flowers. I think the woman liked a lot of flowers. And I can't, and I can't miss this thing. Oh my god, I'm gonna fall. The ceiling. Look at this ceiling. It has, it has carven wood and flowers. Oh yeah, it's flowers. Wow. Pretty nice. Amazing. Okay, keep going on the tour. This is kind of a small bedroom. Not gonna go in because there is no floor. And look at the ceiling. If it starts to rain, it rains inside. It's so sad that this house is like this. Yes, it's a beautiful house. And look at this nightstand. So detailed for a nightstand. And that little bed. This was like a child's bed or something. Back in the days, Portuguese people were not that tall. So I think this is a bed. I think so. You see there's clothes, clothes. Down there, yeah. And another frame. But yeah, this room is very dangerous. And I think it was a man's room. This part of the house I think was all bedrooms. But as you can see, everything is falling down. You, you see a vanity right there. Oh my god, I need to be really careful. And everything inside just fell down. That's the chapel that I'm gonna show you at the end, the very end. It's really, really beautiful. You have to stick around for that. As you can see, we have to cross this thing until the chapel. So it's really dangerous. So I'm gonna <laughs> wait until the end, but take a look. This is just a little lunch area. It's beautiful. Back in the days, the houses were like this, literally. Cozy little houses. We come into another bedroom. No bed frame, but still a mattress. A vanity. Wow. With tile. Wow. Portuguese tile, oh still products left. Oh, portrait of Jesus that you can't yes you can't see. What is this? I didn't I don't even know. It's literally falling down like this part of the roof. Now 
let's see the other side of the house and we still have to see that part because it's like a newer house part of the house we have to be really careful with this floor comic book Portuguese edition Pateta Wow Another bedroom Whoa, a massive wardrobe I was not expecting that Sometimes I don't even look right at things but Yeah, it was. this was a man's room, definitely Look at that massive wardrobe That vanity, a small simple vanity yeah, it was definitely a man's room. Wow. The ceiling is collapsing in every corner. Even the mirror on the wardrobe has fallen. Oh, two heads. Oh, and there's a, li a creepy doll right there. Wow. Okay. I love these tents. They were supposedly up and down, you put vases, but uh, throughout the years they will start to use like as nightstands to put candles and stuff, so I don't know exactly what they are for, but the, they were created to put vases on, like you put the little vase with the flowers falling off and there's just a normal flower. can still see. The decay literally these are the woman's shoes and they were made with cork nowadays we made make everything with cork so this is really really cool to see Leslie <laughs> yes. can you explain these portraits? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. This one. Yeah, this is uh, what we think is this, uh, our beloved Miranda that once lived here. This is when she was younger and she went to the monastery to study. This is the place where the children went to school back then in Portugal to learn about religion. And on this side, we have a portrait of our beloved Miranda. She didn't look that pretty in there. <laughs> I'm just gonna point that out together with her husband. Really beautiful. It is really beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I found this thing. I still don't know exactly what it is, but I think it's a certificate for something religious. I don't know what it is. And this is just a part of the holiday storage stuff. Portuguese people have like rooms and rooms just for storage so as you can see and I think this was the man's part because it's like to storage uh, tools like for the workshop or something so yeah that's why the big chest is for that let's go in on this room hello we found this paint, uh, photo, but it's so, so weird. All the faces are gone. All the faces are gone. I don't know if you can Looks see like that ghosts. properly. Exactly. It's literally, the faces are all gone. You can still see the picture, but it's all gone, literally. So crazy. What is that? These are Miranda her glasses, and as you can see, they look like goggles they got or something. Amazing magnification in there. Oh yeah! You can see it right here. She was pretty blind at the end of her life. Oh no! Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> what we can find here? Letters. Old school letters. 1949. Look at that. I love this letter. 
Yes, it's the old. What's the side? We fold all this the envelopes. Up yes. And it matches the envelope. Exactly. What is that? Can you open that book? Or is just a blank? It's just book. a blank. Okay. For you, Danny. Thank you. You have to explain this because I don't know. Why. Yes, this thing we use it to cover up like jars or some vases things. or put under the vases. It's just something that we do. I don't know how to explain. Like <laughs> my mother does it, so yeah, they are just pieces, and we put together with a lot of pieces of things. probably handmade. Of course, yes, always handmade. Portuguese people nice. always have handmade things. Here. More, other things. More religious things. Or Some saint. bent porta beta. Oh, a knitting newspaper. Newspaper. Yes. Cheers on there. Wow. This is pretty old. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's a knitting newspaper. Yeah, it's a knitting newspaper. I think my grandmother has a collection of those. It's it's all about knitting or what? Yeah, sometimes it's dresses, sometimes it's just uh, little things. It's really cool. Cool finds. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So they have this place that in Portuguese we call it Sular. It's where the sun comes in all day so they put the plants in here you see these things just to put the vases and the plants oh you see the sun shining through and they have all this space you see this is the old bottles of porto wine wow and it's still filled filled wow they also have a bench here you can look at the view of the patio, really cool. So you see these little stands to put the vases on top, really cool. Can you open it? Yeah. Most of the the decay on this house is natural, as you can see. This was a pretty nice room for the furniture, you see there was a vanity right there, but it's all falling down. And this right here is really sad, but this was a tower clock, am I right? Tower wall clock. clock. Wall clock, yeah, exactly, wall clock. And it doesn't have anything inside, it's just an empty. Now, let's go see, let me, let me see if I can show you, no, I cannot show you, okay, it's the other part of the house, wait, Leslie, where are you going without me, oh, beautiful view, and now I'm going to show you that part up there, it's the new, how, new part of the house, mm -hmm. so yeah. Let's go. Okay, this part is a little bit less dangerous, but still. Whoa, they hang the clothes in here. The last clothes. Bottles of wine. Oh. Okay, I take. Yes, I literally. Take what I said back. It's all falling down. It's not much interesting, so I'm just gonna go up, up, up. Uh, you can see the stairs are not stable, but this part of the house is stable. Cool. You can see they try to at least start cleaning this place but wow I didn't even realize this wow thank god that I came here again wow 
the carb design on this. Oh my god, I love it. Love it so much. And right away, this was the living room. Beautiful. Really traditional Portuguese having those porcelain things all over. Wow. Let me go around it. You see the book the books are still in the plastic. Portugal and little things miniatures wow I'm really getting amazed by this house especially this port whoa I think this was the main entrance of this part of the house whoa Ooh, and like I explained you in past videos this is an helicopter shot back in the days when people made houses an helicopter company would come up to these houses and sell pictures of these houses they took by helicopter so this is really cool this is the chapel right now we are here somewhere wow and you can see this building it's old this is the new one and this is under construction still they didn't finish this part painting behind it, it's so beautiful I, it has a, a signature but I don't recognize it but the frame and the painting, wow let's keep going if you hear a lot of noises it's because windows, like you see the windows are open and they are making noise But yeah, this corridor is still pretty nice. Me and Leslie were discussing where should be the the room of Miranda. And I think it was or this room or this room. Because I'm not gonna go in because as you can see the bed is tilted, it's everything is falling down. But first, the clothes are women's clothes. Second, it's because of the religious artifact in here. It's the only room that has statues of religious artifacts. Wow. The curtains. Oh, the chandelier. Wow. I wonder why there's a letter. Oh, it's not a letter, it's half of the ceiling. Okay, <laughs> there's my answer. I was wondering what was that thing. Yes, the ceiling is not good. It's all on the floor and on the bed. I already know what I'm gonna find inside of this, but try to guess it. Think of yourself what it's inside. Okay, I'm gonna open it and it's blankets as always this is more of kitchen things you know these little things are for the kitchen but still this is for the bed and there's a lot of blankets under there let's go further porcelain things are really really cool and I love this it's very very dirty but I love this this horse carriage with these two images really cool another frame of dead nature okay this room is not much as you can see they try to save things by putting on top of the bed but oh, let me see what's this. 
maybe I'll find pictures. Oh no. This is the book. Oh well I can show you. I can't show you this. This is the book of the the wine they sell. Okay, let's go further. I love this lock. Look, look at this lock. Almost it almost looks like it has two figures, you know, holding a sword or some... I don't know. It's really, really cool. Let's take a look. This is what I'm really excited to show you. Look at these porcelain things. This is made in Japan. Wow. And the house is literally full of these things. I'm gonna show you in a second inside of the kitchen by the way I didn't point it out but there's this carpet all over the corridors back in the days always people put always carpets on the corridors nowadays they don't this is just a simple bathroom still everything inside it smells kinda nice Oh, look, I love seeing these frames, paintings, paintings, it's a painting. Okay, this very moldy, very, very moldy, oh, tapes, glasses, oh, oh my god, this is so old, I've seen one of these. This is, okay, this is not that old. I'm exaggerating. <laughs> Sorry, but but it's it's kind of old. This is to put on next to a radio, so you like have speakers for the radio, I think. Yeah, but this this looks like a laundry laundry area. Oh, and I have to show you this. This is Palacio de Cristal. This is on Porto. It, this is amazing. This. This building is incredible architecture. It's literally, and this frame, it's unique. I feel bad for leaving this here like, oh. It's gonna fall down and be destroyed one day, but this is beautiful, literally beautiful. More paintings. I love these little paintings on the walls. They kind of look the same, but they have different flowers, types of flowers. And this is a beautiful dining room. I'm fascinated by this. I love porcelain things, and this is like, wow, really cool to see. I love seeing this stuff, I don't know why. Japan. Most of the things are made in Japan in this house because it's cheaper made in China. It's, yeah, you can see it made in China. Yeah, it's just because everything made in China is cheaper. Uh, not gonna lie, <laughs> but yeah. Yes, there's information on these letters. I'm not gonna read it, but Oh, this is Portuguese. You see, porcelain, PV, Port Moche, Portugal. It's like a town in Portugal that made these things. So this is Portuguese. This is very, very destroyed. But I'm gonna show you this. Oh, first, wait, let me not forget this frame right here with this beautiful picture. And this big painting wow i love look at the detail the artist made on these flowers it's crazy right more porcelain things probably made in china this thing is literally made in china <laughs> sorry but it is 
tamperwares. Oh, I almost fall. There's like pieces of the ceiling everywhere. Look, these stands were supposed to be for that face. And you see these little things? This is knitting, knitting things. Like women back in the day, they knit those things to make pretty like you see on the table. It's the same thing. And I saw a thing with Leslie. There's still food. Blasha Maria. Oh my god. And in here there are crackers. <laughs> oh, it's just crazy. It looks like people just went away, literally. It's so crazy. Oh, this is a typical Portuguese kitchen. Like I told you, two kitchens. This is the second kitchen and as you can see like, wow, this kitchen is beautiful. Oh, the tile, Portuguese tile. Amazing. I think Leslie told me that still running something. Nope. He put water somewhere in here. I don't know. Maybe it's just water pressure. I don't like too much to open cabinets, but it's just to show you that everything is still inside. Love this little pig holding a fork and a spoon. Oh, there's another oven in there. And it's huge, huge chimney wow i don't know how is it called in english these little pot things but this is very very portuguese there's no label on it but we use this to cook this is i think it's for soup like those ones up there but yes oh a tv wow not that old. What brand is it? Samsung. Wow. Sorry, I sometimes I get distracted. I was explaining this. Like we use this for soup or something. You just put this, for example, on top of this thing to heat, and this thing keeps the the soup or whatever uh, warm. Look at that cabinet. It's like this house is full of so much things that I don't know <laughs> what to show you first. It's so crazy. Espresso cups. We call it in Portugal normal coffee because it's coffee. <laughs> but yeah. Still tea in here, chamomile. Wow. That's an old entrance as you can see has not been open for years it's full covered in spider webs top to bottom okay and i think this is it for the kitchen i'm not even gonna open this freezer because i don't want to smell it 2008 one last view of the dining room yeah that's it oh wait wait no no don't go yet this this is for diabetes like to to check if you have diabetes like the if the diabetes are high not to check if you have diabetes you get what I'm saying, sorry. But yeah, let's now just jump into the chapel, shall we? Okay. To show you the chapel, I just, me and Leslie crossed this entire thing. It is collapsed. But 
Leslie's talking about a chandelier. Oh! What a pretty strange thing to have in a chapel, a chandelier. But take a look. Wow. It's, it's like the house, it's a lot of decay, a lot of destroyed. But, ooh, take a look. It was supposed to be a image here, like a, a statue of a saint and on that side too. But take a look. Oh my god. I always forget the name of this. Praying beats. The? Praying beats. Oh yeah, praying beats, yeah. Wow, it's still intact. Wow, it's really pretty. All the images from the faces of Jesus carrying the cross. But yeah, take a look at the chandelier. It's like one of a kind and it's still intact. Not a single crystal has been seen. Exactly. It's really impressive. It's like this chapel. Wow. I have to be careful where I put my feet, but wow. I really I really like this this chapel. It's one of the best we've seen so far. Yes. It's a lot of destroy, but it's wow. Just wow. a chandelier hanging. Yeah, there. there's a chandelier, like what? I call a chandelier chapel this location and chandelier chapel, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you see the floor of the chapel. And the benches are pretty weird. They they look like uh, uh, garden mm -hmm. uh, benches, not ch chapel benches. Because normally the benches from the church are like those chairs. Or the praying benches, like exactly. Or the praying benches, not like this. So this is a little bit weird. They have another stand up there, like a balcony. And yeah, this is the chapel. So, I hope you guys like this video and this farmhouse. It was incredible. We spent five hours recording every little detail. I hope I didn't miss anything. I think I didn't. I think, Good job. I think, I think we both record everything and I hope you like the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you think about this video and the farmhouse, of course. I'm exploring with my buddy Leslie from Brosa BK. If you not have not checked his channel, please go down in the description, there's a link for his channel. And if you're not already subscribed to me, please go down below, subscribe and hit the bell notification to get notified every time I post. This, this, this whole thing was amazing. I love it. I love exploring with you, you know that. It's like, I just love exploring with Leslie. It's a lot of fun. It's always fun, always. always fun. Thank you for coming to Portugal again. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. A oh, ciao. Bye. I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna take you to it. I'm gonna take you on a tour. So there's this place. <coughs> Beer rolls. My voice is terrible and annoying. It's not much. Really? Oh my god, I never know what to say in outro. This is made in Japan. If it's focused, it's made in Japan. On oh, this house is already starting to feel. Dab, 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 dab. I don't know how. What makes? <laughs> don't laugh at me. Leslie? Don't scare me.
part of the house. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's go. Okay, I'll go with you. <laughs> Okay, yes, yes, I'm doing it. I never do this. <laughs>